Hi Cancer, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your November 2021 monthly tarot forecast. This is a reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If you are a cross watcher, you might be able to resonate with some of these messages. So guys, I would like to say welcome to all of you. Thank you so much for joining me here today. If you are not subscribed, please do subscribe. All right, guys, so I am starting out with pulling you an overall guidance card. You have, you needn't worry. I'm also pulling you another card to go along with this. Let's see if we can get um, some clarity in regards to what this is about. Um, but please stick around to the end of the reading, guys. I will be uh, looking at particular areas later on. All right, Cancer, what does Cancer have coming up in November 2021? Cancer. Cancer, let's see. And guys, all the decks that I am using, they are listed below along with the links for purchasing them if you are interested. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. Also, if you could please give this video a thumbs up, I would greatly appreciate that. Okay. All right, so you do have Gambler. You needn't worry. And gambler, so uh, I am reading for some cancers We are you're taking some sort of chance or gamble here in the month of November, but it could be something you're really worried about. Let's see. What does cancer have coming up in November 2021, please, cancer? What does cancer? All right, so we have the seven of wands crossed by the king of pentacles. Cancer, what does cancer coming up in the month of November, please? Cancer. Okay, wow, we have death at your foundation. In the recent past, we have the Seven of Cups. And if you are new to my channel, welcome. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I do prefer the jumpers. Cancer, what does Cancer have coming up in November? So these are almost in the reverse, but take them how they resonate. For some of you, you may resonate with these energies more in the upright. We have the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Knight of Wands. Cancer. We have the Page of Pentacles. Some of you, you may be dealing with a Pisces. Pisces just had the Page of Pentacles in the same position. Okay, so we actually have back-to-back -back pages, which is quite interesting. We have the Page of Wands, and Pisces had the Page of Pentacles and the Page of Wands in their reading as well. So if you have Pisces in your chart, you definitely want to go check out that reading. Some of you are dealing with the Pisces. Okay. 
We have the King of Wands and then energy going into December. You have the Two of Wands. Overall energy for you, Cancer, for the month of November is the Knight of Cups. Okay. I definitely see communication. I definitely see communication. I also see an offer coming in. Whether or not you move forward with this, I mean, that's going to be that's going to be different for all of you. Um, but some of you definitely are. You just may be a little worried. You have you needn't worry, and then gambler. So yeah, I mean, this is you uh, taking a chance. Let me just fix these. You're taking a chance and this definitely could be on the love front but for some of you um, this is work related so maybe taking a gamble when it comes to a new job let's see we have the knight of cups you have the eight of cups you have the chariot in the world so this is you maybe letting go um, could be letting go of a love interest. Uh, some of you were maybe dealing with someone at a distance. This could be somebody, wow, this could be somebody that you've separated yourself from physically. Maybe you moved out if you guys were living together. But this is, this is physical distance. For some of you, and this is emotional distance. Some of you are letting go of an X. We have the Three of Swords here. Or if you were dealing with somebody at a distance, you have Strength, and then you have the Ace of Swords. Yeah, so some of you, I mean, this could be you cutting someone off, or maybe this is something that you already did. If this person wants to reunite with you, um, I really feel like I'm reading for some of you where you're, you're just done. You're just over this. And so um, I see you holding back. I see you holding back. But there definitely is an offer of love or an offer that's on the table here. Some of you, you're, you're hearing from someone that maybe you haven't talked to in a while. This could be someone that you broke it off with maybe a while ago uh, for some of you. And there could be there could be an apology that's coming in. That's not all of you, but for some of you. But I'm definitely reading for some cancers where you don't want to hear it. You have the seven of wands here with the, the king of pentacles. So it could be this king of pentacles who's reaching out to you. So this could be a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. This could be the person that is uh, extending this offer. Could also be an apology, but with the Seven of Wands, you're not having it. Very uh, defensive energy, very protective. Uh, but um, it's a very defensive energy. So uh, if you are hearing from this person at the start of the month, I just don't feel like you're ready. Others, uh, you may work in a very uh, competitive field or environment. I definitely see communication. I definitely see you moving forward, but... Um, if you were hoping or expecting something to happen, maybe in a certain time frame, I definitely see you having to be patient and something really progressing quite slowly.
And as far as you may be accepting a job, this could be a job at a distance, I think that you're, you're staying put. So for others, this is maybe on the love front, you could have ended a relationship and this was you maybe looking at some other options here in the recent past. Maybe some of you doing some online dating that's not for all of you, but for some of you, I mean, there could be a love interest here, but they may be at a distance. So the, the love connection between you two, I don't feel like it's the strongest, at least at this, at this time. And so this is in November. So some of you have met or are meeting someone online just make sure that um, you know you're seeing this person clearly because seven of cups in the recent past can talk about rose colored glasses not all is known and so some of you are possibly dealing with a player with the knight of wands in the reverse the eight of pentacles in the reverse but this would be something that you're aware of at the start of November. You have this love interest in front of you. This could even be someone at work who's maybe trying to romance you or whatever it is. Um, but I don't feel like you're going to move forward with this with this one. You, you may have another one coming in or for some of you this is maybe the same person later on communicating with you uh, around the third week and they they could be making you a better offer here at this time and some of you may be choosing to take a chance or a gamble here around the third week and you know if you are involved with someone if you're involved with someone Either you or the person that you're dealing with, someone may have gave up on this connection and this is you fighting for it. So um, maybe some of you are dealing with a Scorpio, possibly a water sign, possibly fire or earth, but uh, someone may have ended something with you prior, but you're not over it. You're fighting for this connection. They may have gave given up you know they don't want to work with you they don't want to invest in this connection anymore um, and it could be because maybe you were not ready to settle down or maybe you didn't want to make a commitment whatever it may be and some of you are putting your maybe could be player days if you want to say that behind you you don't want to play anymore you don't maybe want to have um, other options you could actually be choosing to invest in a particular person or the person that you're dealing with possibly this king of pentacles if they had other options you may you may tell them at the start of uh, november here that you don't want to invest in this connection anymore you're over it and um, someone may be putting their player days behind them actually that may be what's required to actually uh, move forward with this person the eight of cups it obviously can represent you turning your back and walking away from someone but also it can be you moving right back towards uh, that person it's not it's not always just talking about leaving someone behind can talk about that emotional distance between you and this person um, but also it represents you moving uh, back towards somebody but I think that for some of you that I'm reading for someone ended something with he, with you or you ended maybe having uh, your options open.
and um, you could be receiving a better offer here around the third week or this is you presenting maybe uh, somebody with an offer here at this time this is in the position of your power so this could be you reaching out to somebody I do see back and forth communication here at this time we have the page of pentacles we have the page of wands so some of you are dealing with a fire sign here at this time so I mean you may have ended it with an earth sign and now you have a another love interest here at this time this may just be a friend, but has it has a possibility here to turn into something else. Somebody may have romantic intentions. So yeah, this could be a friendship. Um, could be something that's progressing very slowly, Cancer but i think there is an attraction here you have the king of wands and the hopes and fears you have the two of wands as energy going into december which could be you holding the ball in your court and so you may receive an offer or you may hear from someone and um at this time with this energy, King of Wands, Two of Wands, some of you are going to be bold here and um, open a new door here and move forward. So yeah, this is an ending, perhaps with the King of Pentacles. You deciding um, to possibly reject someone or not move forward with somebody. It could be because they had their options open. Or maybe you are not seeing this person clearly with the Seven of Cups in the past. You deciding not to work with this person or invest in this connection. And instead, I see you more focused over here, um, which is the second half of November. I see you more focused on this King of Wands. Now, some of you this is this is a fire sign um that is reaching out to you or for some of you this is someone that you're meeting here at this time but um let's clarify with the two of wands you have options so i see that you had options in the past you have options coming up here and you will take some sort of chance or gamble here but let's do some clarifying. Uh, let's take a look at death. Death is at your foundation. Which this is great change. Something uh, left your life. Something ended. You had to make space for this, for this new possibility here. Please clarify death for cancer. Yeah, so something is slow moving here at the start of the month. You could be overly worried about this. Maybe you're not making a lot of progress with something here at this time. But I feel like the second half of November is definitely definitely a lighter energy and I do see a lot of communication and I do see forward movement let's take a look at this um, seven of wands let's see what's the seven of wands for cancer please what's the seven of wands okay Let's look at the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse, please. Yeah. Nine of Cups, Three of Pentacles in the reverse. Let's look at the Two of Wands, please. Queen of Cups, she did land 
in the reverse. We have the two of pentacles here. So yes, yeah, someone has options. Someone could be juggling. But uh, some of you that resonate with that, I think that you're no longer going to be juggling. So you may meet someone and see real potential. And some of you are actually um, maybe closing the door on these options. But you have a decision to make here at the end of the month. And this could be whether or not you want to move forward with a particular person. And this could be for you females. This is you deciding whether or not you want to um, maybe open up and, and maybe let this person in. It's really up to you. Yeah, I see you getting a lot of attention here at this time. But uh, some of you females, you just may not be ready to open up and be vulnerable here at this time. Not yet. Some of you possibly dealing with a Capricorn. We have um, pretty strong Capricorn coming through. Capricorn, Scorpio, Leo. Three of Pentacles in the reverse. So yeah, I mean, some of you are turning down uh, a job opportunity here. It could be that the opportunity is too, is too small uh, for some of you, but for others, it's at a distance and maybe you don't wanna move. Some of you are content. I feel like you're actually happy and um, some of you are gonna turn down a job opportunity. We have the Knight of Swords clarifying death. So you could have ended something pretty quick here. Um, you could have actually ghosted someone or maybe you were ghosted. Others um, possibly dealing with a Gemini, a Libra or an Aquarius. This was a great change. It may have actually been um, sudden or uh, something that yeah you were not expecting normally death is a slow process but for some of you this this is um a quick change something that happened um a lot faster could be that those of you that had like a legal matter that was ongoing um it was resolved maybe a lot quicker than than you were expecting. We have the sun here. Looking at the seven of wands. So yeah, I mean, the person that's giving you attention here at the end of the month, um, they may be trying to give you attention here at the start of the month, but for whatever reasons, maybe you're not having it. Yeah, if you were dealing with a player or someone who was inconsistent in the past, maybe they had their options open. I'm definitely reading for some cancers where you ended it with this person. Here around the second week, this is you not wanting to work with this person. I'm definitely reading for some of you where you're happy. You're good on your own. And some of you are talking to somebody else. You could be meeting someone new. Um, let's just very quickly see what sign you're dealing with. Cancer. Cancer. 
some of you have two possibilities here, and this is around the third week. The second half of November, you could be taking a chance with one of these options. I have fire sign, energy, and earth sign, and we have Libra. But uh, for some of you, this Libra is the person that you were dealing with in the past, but this is, this is over, this is done. So this could be the person that you are no longer investing in. And for some of you, there may, there may have been an age difference. That's not all of you. But um, let's pull you some additional guidance cards. Cancer for the month of November. I think that um, for you females, or if you resonate with the feminine energy, I just feel like she's coming up in the reverse because you are not ready cancer to open up and be vulnerable i just don't see it i really see you uh having fun you have the nine of cups here seven of cups in the recent past you could be talking to a, a few different people here but you're just not ready to be vulnerable and it, it's because you know i don't feel like you're taking anybody that serious here just yet but yeah, there's new possibilities, that's for sure. Let's look at your love life. Let's see what we get. For Cancer, for the month of no November 2021, please. Cancer. All right, so we have let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. These are face down, but we will look at them. It is safe for you to love, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all, and then keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Let's uh, look at career and finances for cancer. What is the advice for the month of November, please? for cancer. All right, so you do have number two, new moon energy beginnings. So another sign actually had this. I believe it was Scorpio, but I could be wrong. But there is an opportunity coming in, whether or not you choose to act on it, that's, you know, that's on you. We have free will, but uh, you do have, it's safe for you to love and keep an open mind. For some of you, there could be someone coming in and there is an age difference here. Others, uh, this is a work opportunity and maybe... For some of you, maybe you didn't see the potential in this or you, you needed more information. You could have actually turned down a job or that's something you're doing at the start of the month. And it's because you need more information. This for me is talking about the right time. And then looking at your love life, let go of control issues, allow the situation to unfold naturally. And then looking at career, we do have quiet retreat. It's time to disconnect from the outer world so that you can discern and process your true thoughts and feelings from your inner world. Create this quiet time for yourself and you'll have more clarity about what to do next. So yeah, some of you uh, on the career front, you do have a decision to make. I'm definitely reading for some of you where some of you are trying to move up within your career, definitely, and you may work in a very competitive field uh, or environment. Others, though, I feel like there is a possibility in front of you, but you may need more information 
some of you are turning something down or you're taking some time to think about it, um, needing to retreat. And then we also have let go of guilt. When you allow your light to shine brightly, you inspire others. Forgive yourself for what you think you've done or not done and trust that God loves you unconditionally for who you are. Learn and grow from past mistakes instead of berating yourself for them. So quiet retreat and let go of guilt. So with this combination, uh, I do see you taking a break, maybe taking some time off of work. Some of you, I feel like you may be out of work and this is you possibly turning down a job. Um, some of you are though, you're financially secure already. So maybe you don't have to work or maybe you're just taking time off of work for whatever reasons. And so those of you that resonate with that, don't beat yourself up. Don't feel guilty. Especially if you're taking some time off of work, we all deserve that. And maybe you're someone who has worked your entire life and you've never uh, taken any time you know, off of work. I mean, don't beat yourself up. Some of you are taking a break, but you feel guilty about it. Don't. Don't. Um, and if you are turning down a job opportunity because maybe, you know, it's at a distance, you don't want to move with the chariot in the world, it might not be the right time for you. Don't feel guilty if you are turning something down. I do see another opportunity coming in. Some of you definitely may be dealing with the Libra. But yeah, you have new beginnings coming in and, and you have to move forward when you feel like it's the right time. All right, Cancer. So I hope that you found this reading helpful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Make sure that you are subscribed. All right, guys, have a good month.